So thanks for joining me today. Uh, today we're going to talk about something that I just grew. Um, I had inspiration and I kind of grew tired of waiting on Hasbro to get it together uh, and, and do this. They have they have much greater resources than, than I do and they love reusing parts and I'm sure they're much smarter and have a lot more imagination uh, and brain trust than I would in the creating of toys. But I got tired of waiting uh, and um, I, I saw a quick win that Hasbro could have and that I could have, but you know, I'm I just not going to wait around for them to do it. And so what I did is I took something they already had and repurposed it. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll take you along the way and I'll show you what I did to create this, a, a Cobra, a fully functioning uh, Cobra Claw. You guys saw it in the uh, videos. Um, you know, you guys uh, saw how, actually I have two. I have this one, which is my Scout Claw. <laughs> I, I don't know, it's fun. I, I, so I have two, right? I have this one, he's he's my Scout. He's, he's very um, minimally armed. He's got his two null ray cannons, but you know, I, you know, whatever, use your imagination. They're just kind of, you know, fancy weapons systems there. And then he's got kind of a range finder system up here to take maybe pictures or to maybe find a target. As you can see, it'd be fully automated because that's a bat. So anyways, uh, this little glider, you mean you, you know, a bat can ride it, a soldier can, can ride it, anyone can ride it, right? Uh, and so what we have here, and you guys, some of you guys will, will um, recognize some of these parts, right? Uh, so this is a Starscream Null Ray Cannon that I got from, I believe, the... And I'll put a picture of it maybe over here somewhere of uh, uh, the, the um, Starscream uh, set where he was, he had a throne, uh, you know, the King Starscream Deluxe Deluxe set. I think I got one on sale for half price or whatever. Um, and uh, he had two sets. Uh, and I believe I, I took the set where, because they gave you two sets of the Null Cannons and I used one of those two sets for this one. And then I got one that I already had, so I used it for the other one, the heavy, the heavy bomber version of it. Um, as you can see, the majority of this body, though, is uh, spray painted and and customized or repurposed from a Fortnite glider, the one that came with uh, Tina or Trina, Boom Boom Trina, I think that's what she's called. A really great little action figure, uh, uh, you know, kind of crazy. Uh, you know, girl, uh, you know, I think she'd fit right in with Zorana and the Dreadnought. So I was like, well, I'll take it. I'll take that one. Now, I didn't pay full price for this. Uh, for this guy here, I paid like 17 bucks. And then later on down the line, I've got like two more. One I paid 10, two of them I paid 10 bucks for. And then another one that I still haven't gotten to the other two. Another one I paid uh, $5 for. I mean, these things got super cheap. And I think they're at Ollie's now. Some of them are at Ollie's now for $9.99. So you can find this glider uh, for a really, really low price. Uh, and, and you can take it now. Uh, the This, I mean, you could put mount any weapon system up here. I think I took these from bits and pieces I had from some um, Autobots and robots and stuff. And I just kind of wired this together, you know, to make it look like, you know, what I want it to look like. Uh, put some weathering on it. Painted it aircraft gray. Um, put some weathering on it, got some, uh, leftover, uh, decals I had, uh, from this is, you guys will recognize that's the, what the original bat number came with and that's the logo. And yeah, that's, that's another one there. Some of the caution things and the eight. Um, so, uh, aircraft gray, do some paneling, do some weathering, some paneling there. Uh, and then, uh, you know, he's already kind of set up to be a glider. I mean, it's so simple. The only, the only other major thing I did was I added some, I added a little strip of Velcro here. Well, this one, I might need to get a stronger piece because this one's kind of falling off, but, um, I mean, it's not, it's not that complicated. Well, I don't think it is to me. I used to be a modeler and especially for Warhammer 40 K. So putting together a bunch of those, uh, Warhammer models was actually, uh, you know, they were teeny tiny. And so see, as you can see, he, he holds, he holds up pretty well there. And I have my other one hanging from the ceiling and he's doing his thing up there. You know, he's, he's more of a larger, uh, missile heavy, heavy claw, if, if you will. Uh, and so, yeah, this is what I 
came up with. Uh, I'm going to build probably another two or three. I don't know. We'll keep going. Oh, and the other part, this I got from a Buzz Lightyear XL2, I think. So these wings right here, you'll have to source from. And, and I got that, that, I got that um, ship for like three or four dollars. It was on clearance when Buzz Lightyear had, they just had a glut of them. And I just picked up a few of those as well. Only thing I use from that spaceship are these wings right here for additional. So just look better, right? I mean, plus, you know, you need these ailerons and then you need these guidance to, to kind of steady out, the, well, in my mind, to steady out this system. Plus, I think in a profile, this front profile, it looks a little, it looks way better, right? Than just flat across. It's got these two uh, little ailerons up here. I don't know what they're called. I'm not in the Air Force or neither do I purport to be a pilot, but anyways uh so that's it's got it, it just looks better to me um let me see if i can take a picture of the other one that i have that i created and i'll put it up here maybe somewhere uh but yeah so i mentioned those three things right it's the tnt flyer uh the uh, the glider with tnt tina trina uh and then it's the buzz Lightyear xl uh two for these little wings uh and um and then the star screen null ray cannons i mean you could mount missiles or anything that you want laying around the house or some custom fodder that you have but gosh the majority of this is the glider right just re just spray paint it metal gray do some highlights do some weathering color blacks clear coat and boom you got yourself a glider uh Again, I'll take some pictures of the heavy glider with the weapons and the missiles flying out from the top. I think that one looks great. I put it next to my Serpentor uh, up there, and he's being driven by a Cobra officer or that claw. So um, just fun stuff that you guys can do instead of waiting on, you know, Articulated Ninja has taught us some really great kit bashes and things that we can do to uh you know to make our own uh you know 112 scale vehicles and 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 stuff so you know if you want to wait on hasbro feel free but if you see an opportunity to be creative and to repurpose some stuff to make it fit into your uh you know um category then by all means don't don't wait get it knocked out uh you know do you know be creative uh if anything you know what is it uh necessity is the mother of invention and i needed a cobra claw uh and, and it was funny because so the story behind the cobra claw and why i really wanted one is because when i was uh, much younger uh i i didn't have the my parents didn't have the financial ability to pull off a havoc or a whale or a uss flag uh, I didn't get any of the larger figures. Uh, those were maybe once a year for Christmas, if it, I think the Havoc was the biggest one. The the figures, the vehicles that I had were the smaller ones, right? Like, you know, I think Serpentor had his little chariot, which I had. Uh, um, Zartan had his little swamp speeder. Uh, and then uh, what was the, and, and then the Cobra Claw, of course. I had the Cobra Claw because the Cobra Claw was easy to get and it looked fantastic and so i had a couple of cobra claws because they weren't expensive vehicles and so that was always and flying was always it was a, a a vehicle that allowed you to fly and shoot and bomb anything so that was one of my favorite um uh things about it you can mount whatever figure you wanted to it and it was just fantastic to me it was a very cool uh, part of my childhood and i really liked that and so i i, I just went ahead and repurposed this one because it looks very close to it the other vehicles that I had as a kid, I got a Night Raven once. That was the biggest toy I ever got from my parents for a Christmas. And for and then I got a Thunder Machine and a Snow Cat for Christmas and a birthday or something like that. And that's it. Uh, the rest of them were figures. Uh, but, um, you know, that was, you know, and the rest of them were figures and, and, and the smaller vehicles that I had. I always used to look upon... Uh, the other kids with with uh, uh, wanting eyes when I would see those larger Havoc and, like I said, the Terradrome. Who has money for that? But, you know. Anyways, in my mind, I, I, did, I had enough and I had fun with what I had. So, uh, yeah, let, let, me, it, let me know if you have any questions on how I did this. Uh, and um, I'll be sure to put, uh, put some pictures of my other one in, in there as well and, uh, and highlighting this one too. So, 
Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, and, and again, be imaginative, be, uh, uh, be creative, and repurpose some of the things that you want to see. Uh, I highly recommend Articulated Ninja's uh, videos. He is, he's a great guy and highly imaginative, and he is an inspiration uh, to, to some of these things that I do. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, and last thing, hold the press. Uh, hold the presses. Uh, don't forget, I have an, a contest going, or not a contest, not a contest. It's a giveaway to, to highlight the kickoff of the channel and to, um, you know, and to reward some of the first members of this channel as subscribers. So uh, it's on my, you'll, you'll see the video. It's for winning a, uh, a Shredder clone. Uh, the four, the one that looks like Goro, he has the four arms. Uh, you need, you, if you want to see the rules and how to do it, it's, it's in that video. Uh, very simple rules, uh, very simple uh, thing to follow. And, uh, uh, we will pull a winner on Sunday, the 23rd. So, uh, again, like, and subscribe, uh, appreciate your, your time.